Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to talk about the new Ryobi track saw on Dad It Yourself. Hey folks, so today I have the PTS-01B cordless track saw from Ryobi. Let's go ahead and get this box open and see what's inside it. Okay, so here's everything that was in the box. And I gotta say, that box was probably the nicest Ryobi packaging I've ever opened. This thing was very well packed. Comes with a six and a half inch saw and a factory blade. I do have a Diablo blade waiting in the wings. Instruction manual, riving blade, a clamp, and two 27 inch, 27 and a half inch tracks that give you a total of 55 inches. So you can easily rip across a full sheet of plywood with this track saw. Okay, without sounding too much like a commercial, but I think there's a lot of features to this saw that need to be discussed and shown. So here's your bevel. So you can do miters from zero to 48 degrees. Uh, I like to cut my miters at 46 actually, so that's pretty good. Uh, your depth gauge from zero to about two and a quarter. This little switch right here has three settings. Obviously uh, the lock setting, so you can't plunge the saw even with the trigger pulled. See, it's locked. Oh, there it is, sorry. Locked. Then this is the sawing. Go all the way down. And then this last one is called the scoring setting. And it, all it does is allow this saw to only go a quarter of an inch down when it's in the, when you're releasing the blade. So the bevel adjustment, you actually have to release both these knobs, which is nice because you have two positive stops then. Loosen that, and then there's your bevel direction. Unlike all the other Ryobi saws available in the United States, this one has an integrated dust port. I have a three gallon uh, vac right here, and as you can see, that slides right in and fits good. There's two Allen wrenches stored in the end of the saw right here and these are used for all the different maintenance tightening adjustments for the track and the saw to attach the tracks together you just take the included allen wrench and loosen the set screws the uh, connector comes fully installed in one half of the track and then nice edge. So I've gone ahead and set up the track and it has a little track adjust right here. And I'll tell you this thing, there is like no play in this thing and it moves really nice. So, and it's really, it's on there. Um, and I'm really looking forward to this. Let's cut some wood. <laughs> So what do I think about the Ryobi track saw? I love it. This thing made my job easy today, cutting up all this plywood. The cuts are laser straight, and I have no complaints whatsoever. Normally I'd be cutting plywood out on the ground or on the back of my truck like you saw, but I'd be using a regular handheld circular saw and a straight edge guide like the one from Husky or just a two by four. This made the job better. It was worth every dime, and I'm glad I've made this purchase. Speaking of price point, 
Where does this sit in regards to its competition? Well, everybody knows the big boy in the market is the Festool saw. And if you want to get their corded TSC 55 with a track and a battery, you're going to put out probably $700. Oh, wait a minute. That doesn't include the track. That's another $150. The next one may be the Makita. That's cordless also. And it, with a battery, that's going to set you back. What do I got here? $600. Okay. The Craig ACS 2000 system. That's pretty good, but it's corded. It's only 400 bucks. And then what's competitive to this? The WEN. Everybody's seen the WEN. It's the DIYer saw. Saw only, 100 bucks. Another 70 bucks, you can add a track. But that one's corded also. This, this one, $329. If you want to buy a battery, $399. And it comes with the saw and the track and a blade. If you have any questions about this saw or any other tool you've seen me use, put those down in the comments. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit that bell for notifications. If I've done something in this video that you thought was helpful, consider doing a super thanks or becoming a channel member. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.